Hello, my name is Sekiyama, Division of Materials Physics, Graduate School of Engineering Science, Osaka University, Japan. In this movie, I would like to explain the second quantization, in which the creation and annihilation operators of electrons and their mutual relation are e introduced. After that, the creation and annihilation operators of valence electrons in crystalline solids. The concept of second quantization is required for understanding of the Green's function in quantum theory, which will be also be shared in my channel. Please enjoy this movie. I have explained the Slater determinant for the electron system. There is a one problem to use the Slater determinant directly because the Slater determinant depends on the number of electrons. That means when the number of electrons is changed, the Slater determinant also changed. That is rather inconvenient. One of the convenient way to describe the many electron system is that we use occupation number. This is an ion state because uh, these states are mutually also normal. So such a all one electron wave function have been prepared in advance. Then we set the electronic state by using the occupation number. So this is the idea of the second quantization. So by using the, uh, this idea, empty state with uh, there is no electron equivalent to the vacuum state as this formula. Then the Z electron state, this is equivalent to the this translator determinant as this formula. So the electron occupies up to the lambda z state from the lambda 1 state, like this one. In order to describe this state from the vacuum state, I introduce the creation operator of electron as a lambda i dagger, as this one. Then the state phi is created by using the creation operator from the vacuum state, like this one. So this is equivalent to the formulation of this. Then we can also consider its conjugate, the annihilation operator of the electron as a lambda i. So the vacuum state can be expressed by using the state phi and annihilation operator a, like this one. Okay. In the second quantization, a dagger and a is introduced. Then I explain the property of the creation and annihilation operator by comparing these two states. For the creation operator, when we create or uh, when we occupy the electron into the state lambda i, from the vacuum state, we can describe such a state as this formula. But when we put the additional electron into the lambda i state, which has already been occupied in the state phi, we cannot put in the same state. The state becomes zero. I forget to say the nature of the Slater determinant if we put the same one electron wave function into the Slater determinant, by the calculation, we understand that such a state is cancelled out and becomes zero. On the other hand, when we consider the one electron is additionally put in the empty state, that is possible. Such a situation is described by this formula, and in this case, we need to consider the factor of minus one. One electron is created in the state 
empty state lambda z plus 1. So in order to reach this state for the, this creation operator, we go through the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, i, and z times. Therefore, we define this state is not simply the, this one, but multiplied by this factor. For the annihilation operators, for the empty state, the state becomes zero, since there is no electron in the lambda i state. For the occupied state, annihilation of electron is possible. When we consider the we removed one electron with the state lambda i by using the annihilation operators. So in order to reach the, this state, electron goes through the other electron by i minus one times. Therefore, we need to multiply this factor. By using this rule, we consider this procedure. Namely, for the state phi with the number of electrons of z, once the electron is removed from the state lambda i and put again for this state. So by definition of this one, we can calculate this state. Then we need to consider this state to be switched to one by saying the this one. So the number of electron in this state is i minus 1. Therefore, this term is again multiplied. Then we get this is equivalent to the original state phi. We consider the, its conjugate procedure like this one. But we can easily understand this state is zero, this state becomes also zero. Therefore, summation of this procedure and this procedure becomes one. This is usually known as an anti-commutation relation expressed as this formula. Then we consider another rule. This is for the occupied state. Then we consider the operation for the unoccupied state. So now we consider this state, the one electron uh, from state phi, the additional electron is going into the empty state, lambda z plus one. Then we get uh, this result. And then we remove this state. Then in order to reach the, this state for the, this annihilation operator, we need to travel the z times for the occupied electron, and therefore we get uh, this formula. And finally, we get this result. We consider the, its conjugate operation, like this one. But for this state is empty in the initial state phi. Therefore, when we operate the annihilation for the empty state, the result becomes zero. Therefore, this conjugate operation gives a value of zero. Therefore, we get this relation irrespective of the occupied state or unoccupied state. So this term gives the occupation number of electron because if we operate this combination operator for the empty state lambda z plus one, the result gives a zero. But for the occupied state, this operation gives one. Therefore, we can define the number operator of an electron as this definition. So the number is 0 or 1. For the empty state, this operation 
gives number of hole. When we apply the, this operation for the occupied state, the result gives a zero. Since uh, all, for all the occupied state, uh, there are many electrons. Therefore, the sum of these two terms becomes one. Every state is occupied or unoccupied. So now we consider the another operation, like this one. Here, state i and j is less than large g. That means uh, state lambda i and state lambda j is occupied. Then we consider that this situation, this operation. So at first, we remove the electron with a state lambda j. Then we get uh, this result. And then we remove the electron with a state lambda i. And we get uh, this result. And we consider the different operation with exchanging the order. In such a case, the result is like this one. And after that, since the number j is larger than i, therefore, factor it becomes different as j minus 2. Therefore, the, this operation gives uh, this result. So when we change the order of the annihilation, the sign becomes different. Therefore, the sum of this operator and this operator becomes zero. This is the same for the creation operator. Therefore, this relation must be satisfied. So compare with uh, this one and this one, finally we get uh, this relation. This is an uh, anti-computation relation. Then by using the second quantization, we consider the Hamiltonian of the many-body electron by using the second quantization. I talk about how the electron Hamiltonian is expressed by using the second quantization. So this is the original many-body Hamiltonian for the number of the electron of Z. In this case, we can calculate the total electron energy as this formula, which has been explained in the previous slide. This first term stands for the one electron energy, and we can define as epsilon lambda i0. That zero means uh, bare electron energy. It should be noted that this energy is less than zero minus because electron is bound to the nucleus. The Coulomb interaction is obtained by this calculation, and we can define Coulomb energy as this one, so lambda, a combination of the lambda i and lambda j. By the same manner, we can also introduce the uh, amount of the exchange energy. Here we need to pay attention that the combination is an uh, electron with the same spin direction. Then we can express Hamiltonian as this formula. So important thing that this should be infinity. Instead, we set the occupation number operator here and here, like this one. Then when we demand that the occupation number is defined as this formula, by using the annihilation and creation operator, this one is same as this one. And if we change the order in order to keep the sign that this operator should go through the even times, then this one is equivalent to this one. Then we can also express electron Hamiltonian by using the second quantization and annihilation and creation operators like this one. Under the periodic potential, 
as this one, this vector larger stands for the linear combination of the primitive vector. Then the one electron wave function are expressed by so-called Broch function, like this one. So this psi k stands for the one electron wave function as a this nature. So here a1, a2, a3 stand for the primitive lattice vector and n1, n2, n3 stand for the integers. This wave function psi k is expressed by using the periodic function uk. That means that this wave function itself is multiple value. It is not so convenient. Therefore, we introduce a band index small l and then the wave number, electron wave number restricted within the first brilliant zone in reciprocal space. Then by introducing L band index and the function psi LK is uh, uniquely determined where well, this relation is must be satisfied. Okay. Then we consider the second quantization for balanced electron in crystals. Uh, of course, we need to consider the presence of spin of the balanced electron, of which the wave function of the spin wave function as sigma, and the balance band wave function are labeled by the band index small l wave number k and spin sigma as this one. Here, zeta stands for the spin coordinate. So this is a, a ion state of, under the periodic potential in the non-interacting system. Then we can use uh, second quantization for this state uh, labeled as this one. By using the second quantization, we can express uh, Hamiltonian of the valence electron in crystalline solid like this. Here the N stands for a number operator of the valence electron labeled by this one. Then the, this uh, energy, one electron energy, is explained by this one electron Hamiltonian, but importance is uh, potential V includes uh, Coulomb and exchange interaction with uh, core electrons. So usually in the initial state, core electrons are, are fully occupied. Then we can express like this one, uh, including into the one electron Hamiltonian. So of course, uh, a and A data uh, stand for the annihilation and creation operators of electron balance band electrons uh, with the relation of this one. 